Hi, I'm Bonnie Parker, head of ARIS at Clayton State University Library. Let's talk about search strategies. I want to tell you about using Boolean terms, and, or, and not. You can use these Boolean operators, and, or, not, to find specific information and to narrow down your search. Also, you can use something called truncation, which helps you to find variations of a word stem, or you can use synonyms to help you with your search. Let's look at an example of a search strategy. Let's say that we have a topic which answers the question, how does racial stereotyping affect self-esteem in children? Let's start out by describing the topic and choosing the terms within that topic. So we've just described it. Now let's choose the terms within it. We're pulling these terms from the question itself. So term number one is racial, term number two is stereotyping, term three, self-esteem, and number four is children. Now we want to use synonyms and related terms. So let's do a little bit of brainstorming, or we can use a thesaurus. Term number one, let's think of some words that could be used in place of racial or that are very similar in meaning. And then for term two, three, and four, we're gonna do the same thing. The next thing we wanna do is think about some narrower or broader terms. So for example, term number four, children. A broader term would be people, children or type of people. If we wanted to narrow down our terms, we could use teens, preschool, and toddlers. The next thing we want to do is begin linking our terms together with the Boolean operators. We can use parentheses and quotation marks to keep words together. If you use quotation marks, you're going to keep your words together in precise order. So number one, the search is racial and stereotyping or bias. We would get results that include the word racial and either the word stereotyping or the word bias. Number two, our search example, we would get results that have ethnicity or racial. And then we would also get results that have children and self-image. And with self-image being in quotation marks, that's gonna give this word to us in the precise order. In other words, we're not going to get results just for self or just for image. We're going to get results that actually have self-image. For the third example, we're going to ask for results that include the word stereotyping and the word teenagers, but not necessarily infants. We can use truncation to find variations of a word root. If you start to type in the word stereotype and then use the wildcard symbol at the end, this is gonna give you results for different variations of this. You can get the word stereotype. You could also get stereotypes, stereotyped, stereotyping. And then if you use this truncation, this wildcard symbol, you can get results for all of these different types of that word and you would get results for ethnicity and people. So it would give you all three. Now that's just an overview. If you have any more specific questions, you can use our LibChat function on the bottom right corner of our main webpage at clayton.edu slash library. You can also give us a call at the reference desk at 678-466-4346.